What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, I'm presenting to you guys a quick tips or guide regarding the heroes management. So how to manage your heroes in a very optimal order or let's say in an orderly fashion so that you will not regret later on in your gaming experience that oh my god I should have done that, I should not have done this and I could have been at much uh, advantageous point if I had already done that a long time ago. So I'm pretty much going to talk about all those do's and don'ts right away in this video today for you guys so please do listen very carefully all right well it's always a very irritating message right out there whenever you are making a summon and you are pretty much prevented to doing any further summons or progress in the game because there is an error message showing oh your hero slot is already full please try to expand your hero slots right and that can be really really irritating if it keeps on popping all the freaking time so what to do for that one the best solution is please try to expand it right off the bat i mean like it's not really that expensive and there are so many ways in this game to earn cess for free come on guys i'm a free to play player all right and i've been able to get up to this 500 slots just like that it's i'm like it didn't even cost me much okay and maybe i will have to sacrifice like one 10 times multi pool that's it but you will be able to get so many slots in expansion that uh, you will barely receive any kind of like um you know like those kind of errors saying hey your hero slots is already full please try to expand it again again and again and again all right and it can be really really irritating at least you will be over that problem right away so please try to expand it at least up to 500 slots and still after that one well thanks to exodium and so many other summoning methods that are pretty much available in this game through door to creation plus many other stuff right your slot is still going to get full now what to do at that case are you really supposed to you know like just sell all your characters or disassemble all your characters what are you supposed to do with your excess hero units like let's say for example all right you can see that like i have a lot of dupes a lot of copies of a similar type of character unit so what to do with them should i really sell them or should i really disassemble them okay so what is going to be the best option to take care of them first of all guys what i really want to tell to you guys is that Please do keep at least one copy of each hero unit. Yes, you heard me right. Whether it be even a one star hero unit just like this. Just look at that Underwalker Dagger Man. I mean like, uh, originally he is a one star unit. Just look at it right away. Originally he just a one star hero unit. <laughs> <laughs> and he is so amazing especially for the core raid in absence of a loom thanks to a battery right out there and i just came to know about him very recently and i'm very happy that i have a multiple copies of him and at least i got one of his copy to right over there to five star and well there are so many contests that are pretty much um coming up uh recently like over and over again right and in those kind of contents you will be able to use certain type of hero units uh much better than compared to other hero units out there for example i would really love to show you this one particular example where it you know like the gaming content is d going to demand you of a particular unit like a certain unit with a certain attributes so let's look into this one so right over here, any any kind of like challenge mode right over here, whether it be the experience sanctum, spirit sanctum or hero battle, whatever that is, just look into it, all right? Experience sanctum right over there. And look into the special right over here, okay? And it says there is a condition to enter. Just click on, like click to check out the condition. It says rare and cleric and nature and female. So who is it going to be? Definitely it's going to be Kaya, right? But just look at that. It's and, it's not or, okay, it's and. It should be a rare character, it should be a cleric, it should be a nature, and it should be a female character. And there's another condition right over there as well. It says, a rare, warrior, fire, and male. I think that's gonna be Jeon. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Those are the particular hero units that are pretty much gonna be required for you guys to put in your team before you can venture out into that content. So that can be a very limiting factor indeed. And well, this is very, very hard type of level right out there. Meaning like if you bring out some weak units, they are certainly going to smash your ass 
of the game mode okay and you don't want to uh, face those kind of losses right so in that case you also need to make sure that you are going to build up such character properly as well anyways there are really certain other contents who have, which have not really unlocked till now where the certain units really do not shine much for right now but who knows what will happen in the future right so please try to be prepared for the future just don't think later on in your game saying like oh my god i should have put this one i mean like hey guys just look at the gale as well at first he was pretty much useless i mean like i would not really love to use him at any cost but this game suddenly dropped up his fate core item and i was like what the hell after getting his fate core item he is one of the efficient machine in killing the gale and gold grave robber garrot in this um, exploration content and that is so cool that is really really cool guys and i'm really happy that i have him around i just only had his one copy and there are pretty much so many other players right out there who are really regretting that like oh <laughs> i had gale but i sold him i disassembled him like i feel so shit like right now <laughs> They have like those kind of regrets, okay? So I'm just saying to you guys, please at least have one copy of each hero unit in this game. You never know when you are gonna require them. Yes, they may not be that useful right now, but later on when new contents actually arrive and you are going to see the conditions or the gaming mechanics, you would be definitely saying to yourself like, Oh my god, I should have really not sold that unit. I should never have really disassembled that hero unit. So that's that, alright? And uh, what's going to be the next thing? Okay, I keep one hero unit, right? And then what? Okay, well, with the extra other copies, please transcend your hero unit. I mean, like, transcending is obviously going to provide them extra stats and ex extra, you know, like, uh, combat power, alright? And that's going to be definitely awesome. I mean, like by uh, their uh, nature they are supposed to be weak right so you would really want to use any kind of possible um, method right out there which can pretty much improve their combat power their performance in the battle and many other things so please do transcend them right away and transcending is definitely going to help you guys in managing your uh, inventory space much easier okay so there we go that's one trick to do it and well you transcended one particular hero unit to max that is going to be plus five and still you have surplus now what to do after that one okay like the extra unit is truly a surplus <laughs> because you have transcended a hero to max already in that case would it be really great idea to disassemble the hero units for heroic tokens or would it be a greater idea to sell your hero units for extra gold and i would say guys please do sell your hero units yes in this game gaining gold or earning gold in this game is quite a hard task and you really don't want to you know like rub it over and over again grind over and over again uh to get a lot of gold you would really want to get fast cash then this is one of the best way to do it right out there so please try to sell out your any excess hero unit right at the bat after you have transcended a, a single copy of a particular unit. Meaning like you already have all you need, right? And those true excess or let's say true trash units uh, that is never going to be of any help to you anymore. You can just sell them to gain quick cash. I mean like you can see right over here 300, I mean like 3000 gold per one rare character. And I really don't even use them most of the time and I have already uh, confirmed one copy of them so I don't have any problem at all to sell them away and guess what guys through this method I have been really able to collect a tons of gold yes just look at that the gold over there did not came just like that okay I sold my hero units for that case and guess what guys through exodiums through many other summoning methods in this game you will be able to get a lot of hero units just like that okay it's too easy to get hero units so don't uh, 
don't fret over, okay? Just don't have any uh, confusion regarding like, uh, or hesitation regarding uh, selling your hero units, all right? But at least make sure you have one copy of them. So that is it. A well disassemble also will allow you to exchange for some uh, particular amazing stuff right out there, uh, like this kind of things, okay? Which can be quite helpful for you guys in the earlier phase of the game. So depending upon the situation or depending upon like what you really want, what you really need at a certain particular point, you can also disassemble your hero units for or, uh, extra heroic tokens but hey guys as a beginner you will be needing your gold way more than your heroic token all right because like gold is pretty much used nearly everywhere and to bless you know like and to upgrade your characters in various sorts of ways you are gonna need a gold and uh, the gold is obviously going to be quite always lacking okay whenever you are going to need them so please try to just get the gold at first and later on when you have a tons of gold and you would just want to exchange them for a certain type of like amazing blessing items then it then in that case you can proceed to do so as well okay so that is pretty much it now that said and done what are the other things that i would really love to say is that just look at it right over here so, uh, next thing is that, like, how to free a character very freely, okay? So, right over here, guys, looking into the tag, this hero unit right over here is the most free unit right out there. Just look into his icon. There is no lock mark, and there is no tag underneath, okay? So, that's that. Uh, this one is locked right over here. That means, like, if I, to, if I want to use this particular unit as the fodder, I will not be able to use her as the fodder unit she will not actually show up for example just look at this uh, guys i mean like i have three units of this particular unit known as vinity right so if i am going to lock this unit and i'm going to like transcend this unit right over here just click on the transcend even if i have extra copies of this vinity they are just not going to show up right over here why because they are locked okay they are really really locked right now and uh they will not really show up if you really want them to show up what's uh what you really need to do is please unlock them okay just unlock them and when you unlock them then only at that time they will show up in the transcend well this is a very basic uh tip well so many players really do know about it but there are so many players out there as well who really don't know this fact and they have been keeping asking me this same question over and over again so i just wanted to uh, say it to you guys in this video today and the next thing is that you might sometime uh, observe a certain type of like uh, tag that is actually like how to say this all right where is that where is that okay sorry like sometimes there is a tag going on around Hey, <laughs> sorry about that. Hey, I mean, like, it was a bummer in this video. Okay, so there we go, guys. Okay, whenever you click a certain hero unit, there is gonna be a tag that will just run at the bottom of the hero unit, right? So, what does it really mean? So, it actually means is that, like, they are being hired at certain place somewhere. Just look at that. P means playing. They are playing in that particular content. So right now, my battery right over here, if I just click on this compass right over here, that actually will show where is she being hired currently? Where is she being used currently? First of all, she is being used as story mode, then in experience sanctum V, uh, spirit sanctum, and so many other contents right out there. Until and unless, <laughs> <laughs> if I don't free her from all those places, okay, I will not be able to use them in, or let's say use her as a fodder to my next character unit. Like let's say in uh, Fate Core Fusion, whether it be the Transcendence. So that's what I really wanted to tell to you guys. Like let's say for this Baraka, he's pretty much hired pretty much everywhere, right? How about the free unit right over here? Let's say, let's talk about this unit right over here called Annie. Is she being hired anywhere? Come on, the compass is not even right over there. Meaning like she's not hired anywhere. She is totally free and she's not even locked. That means she's readily available for transcending or uh, fusion, whatever that is, if it's possible. Okay, so that is pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I really wanted to tell it to you guys. So there we go. Are there any other thing that I really need to tell to you guys? Okay. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on using the contents of my channel. See you guys in the next video.